Hey guys, Tim here and welcome to Red Wolf TV. And today, I'll be taking a look at the Ares Amoeba AM013. The AM013 had a great reception when we raffled two off in America about a month ago. And some of you have asked if there's going to be one with a shorter rail system. Now let me show you something. On the box, you can see the tan and blank version, but right next to it are ones with a shorter handguard, so yes, you'll be able to get one at some point in the future. Now let's get right to it. So when you first pick up the AM013, it is lightweight, and it's short, making it perfect for CQB. I do like how it feels. It sits comfortably against your shoulder, and you can really pull it back just to rest your cheek comfortably on the stock. What I do find iffy are the two hand stops at front. It reminds me of a hammerhead shark, or a snake that's just about to strike its prey. But I do kind of understand why it has to be there. You can get a comfortable thumb of a bull grip or a C-clamp. You can hold it right at the front, or get an AFG or a vertical fall grip on the rail system, or you can hold it comfortably on the magwell. So it really depends on your style of play. Now for the materials. The full grip, the suppressor and outer barrel are made out of metal, and everything else is made out of plastic which makes it incredibly light. Weighing in at around 2.5 kilos, which is 5.4 pounds. Lengthwise, with the stock forward, it is about 63 cm, which is just under 25 inches, or with the stock back, which is 74 cm, which is 29 inches. The AM013 has a retractable two-point stock. Two hand stops at front, a mock suppressor, flip up front and rear sights. Now the fire selector on the left side is very fluid, but a little bit stiffer than the previous version. The mag release can be found on the right side, releasing a 300 round high cap PMG mag where you can see the cartridges inside, which is a nice touch. At the bottom is a handle, making it really easy to pull it out of a chest rig, insert and head off. The handguard is about 11 inches long, but the shorter handguard version will only be 7 inches with the rail on top that flows very well with the rail on the receiver. Now, the rail system has enough space for the two additional rails that it does come with. The hop-up can be found by pulling back the charging handle and there it is in the breech. Now, where does one store the battery? Inside the stock. Now, it may be very small, but it's large enough to fit a TMC PEQ type Tamiya adapter battery. So let's find out if Ares did anything to change the FPS because 280 is a little bit low. For the chrono test, we're using 0.2 gram 6mm BB. I was happy to see it clock in more than 280 FPS, but at the same time rather disappointed considering it clocks in at around 390, which is way too high for CQB scenarios. So I tried it with the black version. It was exactly the same. We are now at the range at Milsom CQB Training Center and I have Mark here from HKOTG hey. and he literally stole the gun. He took it out of my hand like a kid at a candy store. And you know what? He's going to let you know what he thinks of it right off the bat. Well, of course I'm going to take it out of your hands. the gun that doesn't care. It right? doesn't care. You know, it, it, this gun just don't care. Not at all. So um, right off the bat, it actually feels really good in your hands. The pistol grip, like if you just kind of look at it, it looks a little small, but it feels really good in your hand. It doesn't feel weak or it doesn't feel too small. It feels, mm. seeds quite well. Um, the, the rail here feels good. You can get a nice good grip on it. I'm a little... I don't know, un undecided about this whole hammerhead thing. Yeah, I, th uh, I said it looked like a hammerhead. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too certain about it, but it, it's okay for all intents and purposes. It serves what it does. Mm. Um, it's, it's an AEG, so I think it's, uh, it's more aesthetic than, than anything. So, you want, do you want to give it a go? Yeah, man. All right, let's do it. it. So what do you think of the trigger? The trigger is actually quite good for an AEG. I mean, I think the feedback is very nice. There's no lag, there's no, you don't feel a lot of um, the gears having to, to grind up to prepare the shots for single. Yeah. And then for, for, uh, for full auto, it feels really good too. It feels really continuous uh, for an AEG. Uh, my only small gripe is really the selector. It kind of, it, not so much being stiff, it just kind of feels a little weird. I don't know if it's just, it's a little smaller on the switch or, or what, it just kind of feels a little off. And I have a complaint. Why is it not ambi? Great, you know so what, we're gonna take it. this downstairs and then give it a little conclusion, how about that? Yeah man, let's do it. All right, cool. 
Now there are a few things I have to say. I'm glad that they shot it up to about 390 FPS, but that's still too hot for a CQB. They have to take it outside, which is um, something, that's a shame, but what can you do? Is there anything you'd like to say? Well, um, my only gripe, again, is just that it's not amb ambidextrous. Right. You know, I mean, it's not a big deal, but it does make for a much more comfortable selection if you're kind of, if you are in a sense you want to run it a little bit harder, uh, you do want that little bit of ambi on mm -hmm. the other side and it's also good for lefties too. True. So black or tan? Me, I'm going to have to go with the black. The tan know, like is the tan a little one. hipsterish for me. Oh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> but are you excited for the shorter handguard version? That looks actually really interesting. I saw it in the box, yeah. but I do prefer the longer rail. I okay. longer guard thing. All right, true. So, for these two cool products, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com And if you want to visit us at HKOTG, you can check us out on our Facebook page and our group in the description below. So, Porn Stash and Mark, out. Out, oh, my iPro! I'd like to thank Milsim CQB and Training Center for allowing us to use their amazing range again. If you want to know more about them, all the details are in the description below. Do subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with our latest and coolest videos.